Hello, welcome to another video of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. I'm excited you could join me today, and today I want to show you some awesome functionality in Quantrix known as the select function, and we're going to use that with the sum function as well. So take for instance, I have my model here, and I want to generate a report that gives me sales by plant by month. And I have a sales database matrix here with line item detail. And what I'm going to do is, in the last video I showed you, I showed you how you could use using as to link items to categories. And I did that with month to month and plant ID to plant. Well, today I want to show you the power of the select statement. So how I would do this using select is by going equals select and the arguments of select are well what do you want to bring back that's your value list think of it as a VLOOKUP but it's kind of in reverse if you will if you're familiar with VLOOKUPs in Excel and the value list would be if it were a VLOOKUP it would be the column that you want to bring back so what are the values I want to bring back I want to bring back sales what do I what is the key list that I want to bring back. Well, in this instance, let's say I want to, the key list is plant ID. And what is my lookup value? Well, it's going to be at my category at plant, like so. Okay? And if I do that, what's going to happen is it's going to go out and it's going to say, okay, for month one, it brings back in 264, 315, and 544. So that looks good in month one, but in month two, is that still the case? It's actually not the case. That's incorrect. What it's doing is it's bringing out, it's pulling in the first instance of what it's finding using the select statement. So what I need to do here is I need to wrap this as a sum, like so. And when I do that, it goes out and it finds out all of the values that coincide with plant ID A within this matrix. That's still not correct. I also then need to put in a using as and specify the month. So again, using as is using selecting an item which would be month as a category as month here and once I do that you see how it calculates correctly just like it would calculate if I were to use two using as so here's a simple way of how you can use some select and using as if you don't want to use using as uh, Select is very powerful in its uh, many capabilities and join me next time and I'll show you a little bit more about the select function. And again, if you have any questions about Quantrix Modeler, feel free to drop me a line at quantrixauthority at gmail.com or go ahead and send me a comment in this video be below at Quantrix Authority and I'd be more than happy to try to answer your questions because I love Quantrix.